welcome to the Errol McCoy Greenhouse on the Midway. And today we're going to be talking about planting tomatoes. It's mid-June here in Dallas, Texas, and I assure you it is hot as the blazes outside. So you might think it's a crazy time to be planting anything, let alone tomatoes. But we're actually in the perfect window for planting tomatoes that will yield a, a fall harvest. Uh, later on in the video, I'm going to show you some of the tomatoes that I've been growing all season long. But next, we're going to show you how to plant these tomato plants properly. These are tomato seedlings. And this variety in particular is called Rodeo, and it was developed by Texas A&M. You can still plant just about any variety of tomato as long as you're planting it in this window. The cherry types, the, even the larger beef steaks, just about any one will still work. You'll notice that these seedlings have gotten pretty darn leggy. That's because I started them in these seed trays a couple of months ago and for whatever reason I was just never able to get around to planting these into something larger. But these rangy beasts are going to be perfect for what we're doing today. So the first step of this is I'm going to need to remove one of these tomato vines and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so now that I've got the seedling removed from the seed tray, we can go ahead and prep it for planting. And this is easy. I'm simply going to remove some of these bottom leaves. I'll explain why in just a second. Okay, so tomatoes are one of the few vegetables that you can actually plant high on the stem. And you can do that because the tomatoes have the unique ability to develop roots all along the stems. And the reason that's such an advantage is that it really gives you a, a jump start on the growing season by developing this big robust root system. So when we go to plant this in a second, we're actually going to plant it as deep, as high on the, on the stem as my fingers are. So you'll see we're going to need to dig a pretty darn deep hole. And again, that's because we're going to be able to plant this tomato up high on the stem. You'll notice that today I'm planting this uh, seedling in a pot. That's because we're inside my greenhouse. But this process would be exactly the same if I were doing this outside in a garden at home. Two. There we go. We just fill the dirt up high on the stem like I've talked about. You kind of pack it in. Don't worry about it leaning over. It will straighten up as it starts to grow roots. There you go, just kind of settle your soil. And that's basically all there is to plant to the actual planting process. I will need to tell you though, moving forward, after you have your tomato seedling planted, you're gonna to need to give it plenty of water. Now every situation is different, so I can't give you an exact formula to follow. Um, you're just gonna to have to pay attention to a couple of things. Number one, if the foliage starts to wilt during the day, that's a pretty good indication that it's dry. On the other hand, if the leaves start to yellow out, you might be giving it a little bit too much water. What I would recommend doing is every couple of days going out and actually sticking your hand down, sticking a couple fingers down a few inches deep into the soil. If it's dry down there, you need to go ahead and water. If it feels pretty damp, you're probably okay. Lastly, I would recommend a good layer of mulch. I'm not going to do that today because this one's going to live inside my air-conditioned greenhouse, but outside in this heat, I would recommend a two to three inch layer of something like a hardwood mulch or some equivalent mulch. That will really help save the moisture. Lastly, I always recommend growing these things in some type of a support system. It could be on a trellis, it could be in a tomato cage. I've even seen people grow them simply up a pole. Um, but you don't want your plants laying on the ground. Um, that can cause disease issues, and especially if the fruit sets and it's sitting on the ground, they're gonna rot. Okay, so these monsters are the tomato plants that I've been growing all season long. I actually started these guys from seed in late winter. And as you can tell, they're growing quite well. You'll notice I'm using strings to support the branches to keep them off the ground. This method is called the Florida weed. I still think that for at-home gardeners, in the backyard, a cage is still probably the simplest and best possibility. I use this method because I have so many vines in here. 
I just spotted a really pretty red ripe one here. Look at this beautiful thing. So if you follow all of my tips and advice from this video, this is what you'll have waiting for you come fall. For more information on the Big Tex Urban Farm, gardening in Texas, and more, visit BigTex.com. While there, be sure to sign up to become a Big Tex Insider and receive all my tips directly in your inbox.